Hello to everyone, my name is Grega Hurat and welcome to our new video Surfing the Elliott Waves where I'll look at some of the most interesting developments for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. I'll look at the Euro, Crude Oil, CAD Yen, Dollar Yen, S&P 500 and Aussie versus Kiwi. Now Euro Dollar which is here is coming to the upside but still looking at the price action um, I think that we could be slowing down here just trap in a higher degree correction especially if we consider that that was a pretty impressive move up from september lows so in my opinion this correction could take longer to unfold um, so i'm tracking wave b but even this wave b could potentially retest these highs from earlier this year so in the short term i think that there is room for some of the more weakness here we are currently at the 61.8 percent of this um of this wave C uh, so it's the actual FIP level taken from wave A so I'm seeing limited upside here in let's say in the next few days keep in mind that euro dollar has seen pretty impressive recovery here uh, over the last two weeks and also um, we are approaching um, jobs data and Easter holidays so maybe there will be some position adjustment ahead of the holidays and this could potentially cause a new reversal so I still think that maybe we will see a limited upside but of course there is a chance for a spike up to 1.1034 before markets turns down for a higher degree wave C. If from any reason we will see just straight move to the upside and let's say that we close somewhere above or around 1.12, then I think that we will have to go with this wave count, which shows that we are in the middle of wave three later on, okay? So we have two wave counts on the radar screen. For now, uh, at least in the short term, I think that we could retest these highs, but regarding the midterm picture, um, it's a bit, or maybe even to long-term picture, it's a bit too, too soon to say that this wave two has ended here. Now let's take a look on crude oil. Now crude oil has seen a very nice reversal uh, to the upside. Now, if you were following our analysis, then you know that we've been tracking this five wave draw for a while. We specifically tracked wave four triangle very closely and predicted this wave five to the downside. Now, when a lot of uh, media has turned aggressively bearish on crude oil when this one broke down, well, obviously we know that when crude becomes um, extremely pessimistic, so we have to be very careful be because the market moves in sentiment. So if something is overcrowded, the opposite may occur. And this is exactly what is happening. The OPEC has stepped in, they announced uh, cuts um, in a few months. So obviously this means that they expect that demand will drop because of potential bank crisis and higher rates. Of course, the economic activity could slow down. So if demand will drop, what they want to do is to stabilize the prices. Because after all, keep in mind that this was pretty uh, big pullback here from that 2022 highs, it was uh, around 50% drop. So surely they want to make sure that we will not see uh, prices uh, falling even more. So in my opinion, uh, they want to stabilize the prices and this so far looks like we can be in a first wave A of a higher degree free wave correction. So maybe even $90 could be seen by the end of the year. Um, for now, we have, however, this open gap here. So keep in mind that the first wave A should be made by five waves. And now if we look closely here, this is potentially wave three underway. So watch out for wave four pullback and more upside. Also this breakaway gap usually occurs within the impulsive sequence. But once the wave four is finished, potentially here uh, could happen around this 82 resistance, 83 resistance area. Um, and after that, be aware of this wave four, which could also fill the gap. Now, these gaps may not stay open for, for a long time. I think that this could act as a magnet and when they are filled, ideally for a wave four, that's when we could expect a new resumption higher. So yes, I'm bullish on crude oil. I'm expecting more upside, but if you want to play on the long side, you I think it can be better to wait on this pullback on these gaps to be filled. Um, also, if the crude oil is really going to see more upside, then maybe CAT could benefit from that move. Uh, looking at uh, 
looking at the daily chart, keep in mind that the CAD Yen has completed this uh, five wave draw. We've been tracking this one very closely as well. And so far, notice what happened here. We have seen only a spike to a new low and then a sharp reversal. And usually when that's the case, it means that potentially there was a failure breakdown. So it's not a surprise that market now stepped into a corrective phase. Now, again, always when you have these five waves down, what you would expect when market makes a corrective movement that this recovery will be made by three waves. And so far you can see only one lag to the upside. So I think that's a wave A, meaning watch out for more gains after this wave B pullback. Looking at the four hour chart, we have very nice clear impulsive recovery here from that lows also that came out of a wedge pattern and ending diagonal which by the way is a reversal pattern and normally will cause a very strong move so it's not a surprise to see such a strong recovery but this recovery is not finished yet i think that it can take us even higher as i said maybe even back to former way four around 129 area after this wave B dip. Now wave B supports could be seen around 95 to 95 uh, to 96.50. Okay, there you have the 50 and 61.8% retracement. So after this minor three sub waves down, I think that again, we could be in stage for a new recovery here. Now let's take a look also on dollar yen. Um, dollar yen is coming to the downside. Now stabilizing a little bit around the 130 area. It was the key support here for a few times when you look back from May of 2022. So um, this could be a pivot level for now. So watch out for potential more near term strength as long as we are above that level. Also keep in mind that uh, later this month, however, we could see some volatility on Japanese yen because Bank of Japan will have a new governor and maybe this will be speculation that that policy will change and of course any change in the policy especially in the yield curve control could potentially send uh, dollar yen even lower but for now it looks like that there is room for more upside at least in the near term because we are tracking this contra trend rally here after five waves down for a leading diagonal now you have seen wave a potentially trying to stabilize for a wave b so ideal resistance for a next sell-off would be around 135.10. So that's the key resistance from where I would be expecting a resumption lower. But for now, it looks like that this correction is still ongoing. Now let's take a look also on the S&P 500. Now on the S&P 500, we are tracking here a triangle and it looks like that this wave D um, could potentially be very close to this resistance. Again, we have the US jobs data later this win and ahead of the holidays especially after this very impressive move here on stocks you could see some profit taking profit adjustments so in my opinion this could cause a pullbacks looking at the triangles here in elliott wave terms well that's an a b c d e pattern with two contracting trend lines and if you look closely here wave e is still missing so after this wave e Right after this pullback, we would continue to look to the upside, potentially even back towards this August 2022 highs. So support, of course, could be first around 4000 level, the pivot level of this triangle or even better at the lower side of this range. Um, so watch out for S&P 500 to pull back a little bit here, uh, especially also because we have big known as fear index. And since the start of 2022, when VIX was trading here at these lows, we always have seen a top on the S&P 500. So that was here at the start of 2022. Then we had also the same scenario here in April of 2022, exactly a year back. Then again, in uh, that was in August of 2022. Then you have seen a top formation here back uh, at the end of 2022 this was then in february of this year and now again we are here in april so clearly i think it's maybe markets are a little bit too confident regarding the potential for the rise because the fed there is speculation that fed will stop the uh, the hiking rates but then you have on the other hand this credit tightening conditions which still means that there could be economic slowdown and this could potentially cause a pullback for a wave E here. So watch out for potential some volatility to pick up and normally that's the case when you have stocks market coming to the downside. Um, so be very careful here but overall I still think that this is consolidation and that at some point we will see further upside here on the S&P 500.
100. And now let's take a look on Aussie versus Kiwi. Why I'm bringing on this one? Because we have the Bank of Australia rate decision two days back. They were on hold, but today you had a surprise from the Bank of New Zealand who raised the rates by 50 basis points. So this makes a perfect uh, cross for a sell on Aussie New Zealand dollar. We have a we are seeing a very nice reversal to the downside. It's not a surprise actually in Elliott Wave terms. We've been tracking this contra trend movement a few months back after identifying this five wave drop first from 2022 highs. So I think that this downtrend is now in play and ready to resume even lower. I'm looking for 10460, potentially even lower prices until we see this wave C structured by five subwaves. Okay, so Aussie versus Kiwi, it, it appears like a very nice, uh, very nice volatile pair at the moment. Also, if the stock market would really come to the downside, then maybe if you're looking for some trades uh, for some dollar longs versus commodity currencies, then maybe Aussie dollar shorts could work better than New Zealand uh, versus US dollar shorts. Okay. On the opposite side of this, if the stock market, let's say that would break. Um, towards August 2022 highs, as I showed you on the S&P 500 chart earlier, then obviously in the risk on mode, Kiwi could be much better than Aussie. Okay, traders, thank you very much for your attention. Hope that you enjoyed this video and talk to you soon.